Hey guys, welcome to Verbology Learn for Good. As you know, I'm Akash Bishwas, and uh, today's video is going to be on how to validate your website or web application with W3C Validator. So uh, you may be wondering, what is W3C Validator? Um, this video is—I'll just tell you. Is, this video is intended for. Uh, the ones who are experienced in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript or PHP, etc. They they know a little bit of coding. They know what is HTML. They know how to make a web page, a simple web page, like the one I've created over here, on how to become a web developer. Okay, using just HTML and CSS. So, W three C is basic or W three C validator is basically a free tool which is uh, created by W three C, which is World Wide Web Consortium, and they are the ones who are responsible for making uh, the web standards and rules on how to how each language like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, and PHP are interpreted by the different types of browsers. So there are different browsers, as you know. There's Firefox, is Microsoft uh, Edge now for Windows 10, or Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer. There's Opera, there's Chrome, there's Safari. There are some other browsers, but these are the main browsers. Okay, and how your code. Or your web page will be rendered on those browsers as well. So you use the same language, right, for making a web page. You don't use, say, a different language for every different browser. You use one language. Say you want to make a simple web page like this one, a website. Uh, I just use HTML and CSS. I didn't, uh, and I'm showing you on Firefox. This is on Firefox. And similarly, if I want to open this in uh, Opera. I just have to right click and choose the option and open in Opera. Okay, I don't need to change the code, I don't need to do anything, I don't need to modify. So that is what W3C does. Okay, they define the rules and they lay down certain criteria of how uh, browsers should render web pages uh, when they use certain technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ajax, etc. Okay, so uh, if you don't know this, I suggest you to have a look at w3c.org and what's their purpose and what do they do. And if if you are learning HTML, you should be well aware of the website w3c.org and they have some key cast tutorial on HTML and CSS and how to be a web developer. When I have certain videos on a, I have a full course on uh, learning HTML, you can check that out. Okay, so here. So basically, W3C uh, validator uh, checks if there are any errors in your code. Okay, see, in this uh, web page uh, or website, it's very fairly simple uh, web page. You know, I've just used uh, say HTML and CSS. I haven't used any script like JavaScript or PHP. Okay, it's uh, very simple. It has a photo, nice little photo. Okay, and then it has text. But looking at this website, do you think there are some mistakes? I mean, I don't mean mistakes like grammar mistakes or spelling mistakes. I mean, that's for your English teacher, man. Tell her to check. <laughs> you're a programmer, you're a coder. You need to check if there are some mistakes in your code. Uh, looking at this simple uh, website, I don't see any mistakes, right? Nor do you. Hopefully not. Um, yeah. So what? Uh, W3C uh, validator does checks if there are any uh, syntax errors in your code. Say if you have opened an element, say h1, uh, but you haven't closed, like you haven't put a uh, backslash and you haven't closed, or if you have misspelled, uh, misspelled uh, a word, like instead of writing body, you're writing board, or even if you have used some uh, tags which are not supposed to be used, okay. Uh, so in HTML5, when we're going to learn HTML5, there are certain tags which are not used anymore okay that that that, that gone off you, you should not use them okay and that is what uh, the w3c uh, validator checks for so here i'll go ahead and go to google and we'll go to the website okay Up. Sorry for my internet connections. Pretty slow. It's taking a little time. Welcome. Welcome. 
Okay, finally it's open, damn it. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so I'll just put in W3C validator is the first term, search term that appears. I just put W3C, okay? It's used so much by professional web developers and designers. So if you want to be a pro at web development and web designer and want to fucking earn the respect of others and want to be a professional uh, web developer, you need to use this tool, this free tool. So this is free and this is online tool, okay? So here, this is the link and I just click and so this is the link. I'll just put it in the description as well. You can check it out. Please read the description. I always do for my videos, but no one feels them. I don't know why. So I just click over here. So this is a very nice, simple website. I mean, you don't need to be Einstein or Newton or I don't know what, not genius man or Mark Zuckerberg to understand what this uh, website is about. It's very simple. Okay, as you can see, very, very simple. It's free website. If I can zoom in, show you a little better and it has just three options so you can validate your website or your web application in three ways either by putting the uri which stands for uniform resource identifier that's basically the link say suppose you have a website which is hosted on a server say if your website like or even if i have a website like uh, www.ilovecricketbyakashbishwas.com so that's the uri okay as a link so I'm going to put that over here. Okay. And there are also a couple of more options like act encoding, document type, uh, list messages sequentially or in group, etc. You can choose them, you can check or uncheck them. Okay. So the next option, which is the one I'm going to show you because this uh, website, as you can see over here, nice little cute website that I've created, is not hosted on a server. It's not on the internet. If you say search, say, how to become a web developer by akashvishwas.com I don't think anything will show up or by webology.com I don't think anything should show up at least this page website won't be shown because this is not hosted on the internet this is local this is on the machine itself okay it is not hosted on the internet so here I can do a browse file and it will upload the file from my machine and I'll check for errors and this option is another very good option. You can actually directly put the code over here. Either you can copy paste your code or even code, make your code and uh, check if there are some mistakes. So this is the check button. And this option is uh, similar for all the three options, this extra options. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and browse my file. And I have a, a folder on the desktop by the name web dev, short for, for web development. And within that folder I have actual document okay so I'll just go open and it has been uploaded okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to check if there are some errors and I'm just keeping my fingers crossed well you can't see that but I actually keeping my fingers crossed hopefully there are no uh, errors in my code because I consider myself to be a pretty pro uh, web developer oh my god there are actually errors in my code and what are they so the first error if I can zoom in a little more showing you as an element board not allowed as child element of body in this context so this is basically what is saying that instead of putting instead of i writing body i put board okay and actually giving the line and the column so this is how good this tool is and you should really really use this see line and column okay so if you have an editor i suggest you if you want to become a pro uh, web developer uh, leave a notepad. I just use notepad to show you to teach you uh, HTML and CSS and JavaScript as, as a tutorial. Okay, I don't use them. <laughs> I use a uh, active editor or Here I have open Komodo edit. Okay, also known as active edit and this is pretty professional and professional web developers also use this and this is free Okay, you can download for free of course on their website and you can go and download and here you can see these are the line the number of uh, lines of each code this is a number okay starting from one to as many lines of code I have written and so the first uh, error and we'll go through each of the errors oh there are shit almost 12 errors and we are going to connect each of them right now so the first error is in line uh, 43 so we'll go there so line 43 is over here see you can zoom in show you instead of writing body I have written board I'll just zoom out because this editor cannot 
get bigger in size so I just zoom out it becomes easier for me to navigate to the uh, line and the error okay fine so the next uh, error is in line 49 and saying uh, designing h3 okay what is that um, let's find out so line 49 is here and I've written h okay you can zoom in h in place of h3 so that is a very very big mistake don't make that mistake again <laughs> okay fine so the next uh, problem or error is in line 50 line 50 is over here I just zoom this out zoom out zoom out zoom out and let's go line 50 this is line 50 okay just go over here and see the mistakes well there are mistakes you can zoom see this span element I've ended but didn't put a backslash okay that's a very big mistake so I'll just do that and see if there are more mistakes mm, no I don't think so zoom out okay the next mistake is on uh, similarly on line 50 which is the one I corrected so I can leave that and the next mistake is on line 53 so let's go ahead and correct that as well so this is line 53 as you can see over here and uh, let's see what's the mistake okay just zoom this out zoom out zoom out oops I'm sure you can't see but uh, I'm sorry for this the size of the page okay so here I have P element okay this is the P element the paragraph element but I end this with the H3 element which is a very very big mistake okay sorry for that okay I'll just go ahead and change that okay so the next uh, error is on line 91 let's go ahead and see what is the error on line 91 so 91 is over here and was the mistake so here actually it's on 88 first actually I think I missed out one error yeah stay and hello tag because this I didn't put L O L I just put O okay so is wondering what is this O L tag and lastly it's on line 93 div okay what's the mistake on div I think that's pretty much what it is I don't think so there are any other mistakes maybe the same mistake said so body instead of putting body I put board so that is what I think is getting confused so this I've saved with control s okay now I'll refresh this page but it should it'll be remain the same as it is okay not be much of a difference so now I'll just uh, go back and go back once more time and I'll again check if there is some code there's some error in the code okay I'll again upload the file I keep my fingers crossed hopefully uh, no errors should be reported this time oops there is some mistake subtree some body I don't know what it's not recognizing this code but I don't see some mistake you know it's pretty much uh, it's actually the same mistake it is repeating I don't know why I saved the document and uh, again it's showing so I think I have to just refresh uh, this page and it will do good okay so here 
so that's it for this video tutorial hope uh, you guys have uh, liked it and uh, learned how to validate your websites or your web applications and just remember that this is used a lot by professional web developers and programmers who work extensively uh, make websites and web applications and this is a free tool and do uh, read about Tim Berners-Lee the father of the internet and he's the one who founded along with other people W3C or uh, World Wide Web Consortium and uh, that's it so as usual I'll ask you to like or dislike whatever you want comment if you have any queries suggestions inputs etc then do share this with your friends girlfriends boyfriends your neighbor their neighbor etc or your friends on Facebook Insta Twitter I don't know what else and and uh, please hit the subscribe button because if you subscribe then you'll get a notification in your account when I upload my next video and thanks for watching